Good morning and greetings from upstate central New York. We're at 3.05 a.m. on December 1st, 2014. It's 47 degrees Fahrenheit and it feels pretty good. Last week we were in the uh, mid to upper 20s, lower 30s with a lot of snow. Of course it is kind of rainy out, but I will take that. I will take rain over snow any day. All right, I gotta get rolling here. All right, so I did my good deed of the day. This driver right here was having a hard time getting his tandems to, to slide, and he's got one of those old, real old handles there. Don't see many of those left on the road anymore, but I had to hold the handle up while he slid his tandems for him. Helping everybody out, that's what we should all do out here. Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope all is well on your side of the screen. Things are pretty good here. It's Monday, December 1st, 2014. I don't even know where this year has gone. It's flown right by. And we have 24 shopping days left before Christmas. Now my plans for Christmas shopping include going out on Christmas Eve, going to the local convenience store automotive aisle and picking up air fresheners and tire gauges for everybody, which I will wrap in tin foil or newspaper. <laughs> Anyway, uh, my Monday is done and over with. It was pretty decent today. I had a 5 a.m. delivery that went well. And then I went out and picked up a couple loads that I brought back to the yard. And then I dropped an empty out at another place that we pick up that frequently. And my day is done. I've got my assignment for tomorrow, and I'm ready to rock and roll for tomorrow. So it uh, wasn't too bad today. Did my good deed for the day, helping a gentleman with his tandems, which uh, we should all help each other out out here. It will make us a lot better people, make the world a lot better place. All right, Tuesday morning, 4.45 a.m., and it is 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I think I liked yesterday morning's 47 degrees much better when I got started. Of course, it was 52 degrees when I got to the yard and made my delivery yesterday morning. But Oh, I'm so not ready for this. I'm looking forward to spring already. All right, it's time to get rolling. Okay, so it's Tuesday, and it's a cold, chilly, breezy Tuesday. And currently I am in Amherst, New York, which is just outside of Buffalo. I'm getting unloaded. And when I arrived here, I went and I checked in. I gave my paperwork to the lady behind the window. And she told me I could back into the middle bay once they were done unloading the guy that was currently backed in that door. And once he was finished, he pulled out, and the receiving guy came out to talk to me to let me know I could back in. And he looks right at me and goes, you know... I don't need any of this stuff on this trailer, but I will unload you. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, you will. <laughs> I just go where they tell me, you know. I don't order this stuff, but apparently somebody ordered it, so they must need it. But uh, we're supposed to get some kind of winter warning, winter storm warning or something like that for our area tonight, which is nothing new. I mean, it's December. It's cold. We get snow. It's upstate New York. It happens. I just think I'm getting too old for this cold and... Blech, stuff. Maybe it's time to retire and move south. You know, I kind of like it down in Tennessee up in the Smoky Mountains. Maybe I should move down there. <sighs> Forget this winter stuff. Alright, so there's another Tuesday in the books. A two for Tuesday, as they say on the radio. After I made my delivery, I went to the other side of Buffalo and I picked up at a food distributor. I picked up a load of flour. Brought back here to the yard in Syracuse. And it appears a lot of people have forgotten how to drive in winter weather. So it took me a little bit longer to get back to the yard, but I'm not killing myself for no load. I slow down, take my time, and get here when I get here. I'm paid the same either way. So, uh, got a late start for tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. It won't be as bad as what I'm about to encounter on the way home. <laughs> I got a 45 minute drive in this stuff again. And uh, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I want to get home. I want to eat some dinner. I'm hungry. Ooh. Route 81 South, all that smoke right there, that there's a tractor trailer that caught fire and it's still smoldering. Hopefully the driver got out okay. Hopefully he got okay. That's horrible. Alright, good Wednesday hump day morning. There's a uh, tractor trailer fire over there on Route 81 South. 
I'm on my way down to Kirkwood, New York. And I took an alternative route, and this has been pretty much how I've been rolling. It took me about an hour to go just under 10 miles. Good times. All right, I gotta roll. So what can Brown do for you? Brown almost backed into me. Almost took out my mirror, had a lay on the horn. What the hell? It's pretty close. All right, so it's been a uh, pretty eventful day so far. Uh, right now I'm at my favorite rest area, which is the Pennsylvania Welcome Center on the Pennsylvania New York State Line on Route 81 South. I'm all emptied out. I'm gonna take this empty trailer down to Pittston, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna drop it, pick up a little trailer, and head back up to Syracuse and call it a day. So hopefully the rest of the day is smooth sailing. I've had enough excitement for today. Time to get rolling. My DOT 30 minute break is over. Okay, so it's a thunderous, thrash, and thumping Thursday, and I'm here in Buffalo, New York, picking up a load, taking my 30-minute break, DOT break, and I uh, just want to do a quick wrap-up of uh, yesterday, Wednesday. Now, I had to pick up a load in Pennsylvania. I did a drop and hook, and while I was doing that, a driver from another company backs under the trailer next to me. Now, I don't think he set his brakes or anything, just backed under the trailer, slams into it. Gets out, hooks up his airlines, his electrical cord, rolls up the legs, never checks his tires, never checks the lights or nothing. Gets back in the truck, puts it in gear, takes off. And then all of a sudden you hear, boom! <laughs> the trailer landed on the frame of the truck because the big dummy never checked his fifth wheel. Now he gets out of the truck and he's all yelling and cursing and swearing and he's the big dummy who didn't check his fifth wheel. So my tip to everybody out there, whether you're a new driver, old driver, whatever, always check your fifth wheel. It takes 20, not even 30 seconds. Crawl under there, get a flashlight, check, make sure them jaws are clamped right around that pin. It doesn't take that long, and it'll save you a whole lot of time and aggravation. Tip of the day. And always pre-trip your trailers when you pick them up anyway. I mean, this guy was just a bonehead. Anyway, so today started out uh, not too bad. Uh, weather's been decent, it's been clear and sunny, kind of chilly. Uh, my first goal for the day was to take a trailer, empty trailer, out to Canandaigua, New York, drop and hook a load, and take it down to HQ in Pennsylvania. And when I got out to the shipper, I dropped the trailer I had and got a call from my dispatcher, change of plans. So I ended up bobtailing out here to Buffalo, picking up an empty, and here I sit picking up a load. And I'm going to take this back to the Syracuse yard, and what I do after that, I don't know. I could have something else to do, or I could call it a day. No clue yet. But it's been a pretty decent day so far. Uh, no complaints, and uh, really, it's been good. All right, another thunderous thrash and thumping Thursdays in the books. Fueling up and going home. Tomorrow's Friday. TGIF. Yeehaw. All right, so it's a fabulously flippin' fan fantastic Friday. T G I M M F. Thank goodness it's mother flippin' Friday. <laughs> well, around two o'clock this morning, I had the bright idea of bringing the GoPro out with me, get some road footage today. Then it occurred to me that all my mounts for the GoPro are in a box in my closet from when I cleaned my music room out about a month ago. And I didn't want to wake everybody up at two o'clock this morning, so I came up with this. This is beautiful. That there's a roll of duct tape, a mint box, a bungee cord, and a couple zip ties. Homemade GoPro mount. <laughs> it's not permanent, but yeah, we'll see how it works. I got some road footage on Route 46 from my first stop to my second stop. I should have that up sometime next week. Uh, my first stop was in Hamilton, New York at 5 a.m. Got there at 5, rolled out back, rang the buzzer. Nobody answered for about 10 minutes, which was kind of chilly. It was 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold. Then once they answered, I had to drop this trailer, hook up to the empty trailer that was in their dock, pull that out and drop it so I could hook back up to this trailer to back in so they could unload their stuff. And then once I was done there, I rolled over here to my second stop in Oneida, and it sounds like they're almost done. And then uh, today's been pretty decent. Not sure what I'm doing next, but once I know and know what's going on, I'll let you all know and wrap this video up for this week. 
All right, so my Friday is done, therefore my work week is done. It's time for the weekend. After I left my second delivery, took that empty out to the brewery and dropped it, came back to the yard here, took my 30-minute DOT break, picked up another empty, took it out to the brewery, dropped it, and that was it for today. That's all for this week. I'll talk to you all next week. You all have a good weekend when you get to it, and have a good day. See ya.